Hey guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kohl, and I hope you all guys are doing good. So uh, today's video, I will uh, take you through the archiving process of BMC Remedy. I will explain you uh, what is archiving, what are different um, you know options available in BMC Remedy. So we will uh, see this particular thing in uh, today's video. So let's get started. Now, uh, before going on to the archiving, so first of all, we need to understand what exactly is archiving. So archiving means if you take the general term, it is like you are, uh, you know, uh, uh, deleting something in, in from uh, one place and, uh, you know, keeping it somewhere. Maybe if you are aware about the outlook there also, you archive your email. That means you are uh, taking the um, emails from one particular folder and keeping it somewhere else for the history or for later use. So the same concept is applicable in BMC Remedy. Archiving means that uh, in, in one particular form, if there are, let's suppose 100,000 records, so what we will do, we will archive some. So let's suppose I will archive 50,000 records from this form and put it in some other place and then later uh, I can access it and I can use it for my own purposes. So we might need this data uh, for um, audit, for history, or for our records we might need this data so that that is the uh, concept of archiving now in remedy how it is done i will explain you so for example this is a form here it's a regular form it has um, you know we can create records on this form we can modify records on this form now in case i want to create an archiving on this so that we will see <coughs> sorry uh, before going on to this uh, creation of archiving uh, there are basically two concepts in earlier days in in bmc remedy uh, the only place where you can define arcing archiving was here on this form so you will define an archiving and then it will create an archived form and then you will have the data there based on the criteria but in nowadays um, uh, there is also one another thing which is very uh, useful for us that is called management console for archiving you will have a management console for archiving where you can manage your archiving for entire system. So that also I will explain you. First, let's uh, start with the um, you know archiving of a regular form. First, let's see this, and then we will go on to the management part of it. Okay. So uh, you this is a regular form, and then here you have to go to the definitions. There is a section called archive. So you will be able to find it easily. So this is a section. Currently, it will be like this. The archiving is not defined it is disabled now what will happen when we define this so when we when we define this for example now i will enable it okay so there are two options uh, delete from the source copy to archive and delete from the source so these are the two options you can set based on your requirement delete from the source it means it will delete it from the source and uh, copy to the archive and delete from the source it's uh, quite understandable from here itself that it will delete it from this form and will archive it somewhere else so we will see where okay so let me select this option we use this option normally okay now um, uh, the archiving state it is enabled disabled currently it is disabled i will enable it then the archiving form so normally in in bmc remedy the standard is you give the name of the same form like student underscore table and underscore archive so this is the common um, terminology used in bmc remedy but you can use your own uh, naming convention that is okay with so let me say student i'll give it a name underscore archive okay so now uh, what will happen when i will um, save this so the system will internally create a form which will be similar to students.table form it will have all the fields which are there in the student table same fields will be created in the archiving form and then the data will be uh, you know later when the archiving will run the data will be pushed on to this form. now uh, this is what i was talking about the management um, you know form so uh, here there is an option including the archiving policy so if you check this box then you this form will be available in your archiving uh, management policy form that we will um, see later okay as of now i will just check this box then in case you do not want attachments and diary fields you can uh, uncheck this Sorry, you can check this. Now comes the most important part, that's the qualification. So uh, you can define the qualification based on which the archiving should happen. So I'll explain you uh, this way. For example, uh, you have 100,000 records, okay? 
but you want to keep only the records which are for last uh, six months okay so what you will do you will define a qualification where the create date is less is more than six months that means a record which was created prior to six months back and then that record will be archived so when this archiving will run what it will do it will keep only the six months data on your current form which is this student dot underscore table and it will take the remaining data and push it to this form which is student underscore archive so you can define this qualification here it can be defined based on any condition whether if it's a complex it's a simple it's up to your requirement how you want to define the archiving so you can define it here as of now um, i will not define anything here so i will keep it as it is but you can define the qualification okay uh, then uh, this archived from number of days this we will see in the management console the only thing here i will do i will take this name and i will put it in the description and i will save it okay okay so now i have saved it and uh, or let me do one thing let me do here in the qualification there's a field called status so i will say status is equal to zero let me see what is the just a minute i will check this So we will define uh, okay one. So for inactive records only, I will say one, <coughs> and I will save this. Okay, now uh, the system will, uh, you know, archive only the records where the status is inactive. Now plus additionally, I can add here the, uh, you know, uh, the one which I was talking before, the date criteria where you can only keep the six months data. But this is just an example. So you can explore it more here. Okay, now I have saved it. Now when we save this, what will what will happen? So when when I have saved it here, so the system has created a form which is called student underscore archive. I will show you that. Let us first see that. Okay, so let me open that form. okay so you can see this form is similar to this form which is my regular form and this is the form but currently if i search there will be nothing here okay because the currently the archiving has not run now uh, let me go back here okay now we have created an archiving form the archiving policy also we have defined here itself we have enabled the archiving now uh, we will see how it is managed through the management console so to now go to the management console what you need to do you need to go here and from here uh, in the administration you will have this link air system archiving management console so now i will if um, i have clicked here so here you can see this form has come otherwise uh, when before defining this um, policy it was not there okay so when you define this policy here if when you define the policy here when you enable the policy then what will happen it will come here in the management console it will come there will be a record created here but if again i disable it this will be delayed okay so here also you can now what is this exactly this is the uh, place where you will you can see archiving of all the you know, forms in your remedy system so you will be able to manage the archiving policy from here you, uh, for for the entire system you will be able to define the archiving policy and you will be able to also execute it from the single console so this is a very good feature in bmc remedy where you can manage your uh, all archiving policies from this form itself so here if when i have defined the archiving policy and i have here included it in the archiving policy this checkbox is checked you will see this record here okay and then you can also define the age whatever um, like you want to define in the number of days so if you um, uh, here you can define the number of days in which it should archive so that also can be managed here from this you can disable this policy from here in case you do not want this policy to execute then you can also disable this policy then there are this operations also 
this um, um, this uh, you know the additional things which which were there on the form now you can manage everything from this particular console the only thing is you have to create a uh, an archiving of a form and then everything can be managed on this particular a uh, form so you can define your number of days for archiving even you can run the um, uh, archiving policy from it. so let me do one thing for this let me run archive Okay, so when I clicked it, selected this record, clicked on run selected policy now, so it has successfully run. Let's see if it has archived it. Normally it will take time, but um, uh, here I do not have much records, so I think it has brought the data here. So you can see here there are three records created, which are all inactive records. So now if I go here, if I refresh it, okay, I think I need to refresh this. <coughs> so i will say again inactive so there isn't any record in a, in inactive form now currently uh, most all the records are active so what i will do let's me let me do one thing for example this record i will make this inactive and save it Okay, I have saved this record. Okay, let me add these details. 363636. Name is something Tony. So let me save this again. This is just to explain you how archiving policy basically works. So now this record is inactive. 3636 roll number. Let me go back here in the archiving management console. I will run the policy again. So I have executed the policy. Now if you see here. the record 3636 rule number has come here in the archiving and here if i refresh it it will be deleted from here you can see you will not be able to search it is deleted now there are only 28 records earlier there were 29 so if you search with this rule number so we are not able to find it okay because it is deleted from this is what we have defined here it is delete uh, copy to archive and delete from the source so this is what we have done so we have deleted it from the source means this form and um, archive um, this data has gone to the archiving form now <coughs> the archiving why we have to define the archiving uh, this is the main you know uh, concept so in in the actual production system there are uh, certain reasons based on which we define the archiving the first is the performance you know in in actual scenario uh, on daily basis when you have a uh, customer application whether it is an out of the box applications like incident management change management problem or any other custom application which is accessed by customers so on daily basis there are a number of records there are thousands of records created on that on those forms so over a period of time when the data um, volume on that particular form uh, goes to beyond certain extent or it, it is um, increasing it becomes a huge volume of data on that particular form then the performance of the system is degraded why because every time you create a record you modify a record the system has to go through all the data in the system it has to perform modifications based on the that particular record the qualification and it has to access all the data which is there in the database system now with archiving what happens uh, let's suppose we are system is up and um, live from last three years so what we can do we can archive two years data in the archived form so then in the main form which is uh, accessed by customers on daily basis we have only one year's data so let's suppose in total we have one million records and then if we archive two years data afterwards we will remain only a quarter a million or maybe 200,000 records in the main form. So this improves the performance of the system. So every day people who are using the form, they are creating records, they are modifying the records. For them, it becomes an you know um, performance booster because uh, it improves the performance of the system as you have less number of records on the main form. But again, on the archiving form, you have all the history, you have all the data uh, which will be later used for your you know um, for 
different purposes like auditing like history or your company policy and um, uh, one more thing uh, which is very important is that when you are defining this archiving policy so talk to your management talk to your customer and based on uh, their agreement define the archiving policy because every company has a different archiving policy in their um, organization they follow a different process for archiving because you know this all is linked with lot of things it is linked with audit it is linked with security it is linked with the company policy okay so archiving is very critical part of uh, for for any particular organization so you have to um, you know get in touch with your management your customer and in agreement with them you have to define your archiving policy so that it does not breach the uh, you know the company policy it does not go beyond what is um, expectation from your customer then in that case you can also help your customer for the performance improvement and also they will uh, they will be able to retain the data which is uh, useful for them for um, uh, you know company inspections from auditors and for maintaining the history of the data or maybe for some other reasons like data security or something else so th th this is how exactly it is defined so um, uh, this was it from archiving and that this is the basic concept of archiving how it is defined how you can manage it from this uh, you know management form which i have explained you uh, you can explore it more and then you will be able to know that how it, basically this uh, works it's a very simple uh, concept nowadays because of this um, you know form you will be able to uh, manage archiving very easily because in earlier days we did not have this form so we had to define everything on the um, respective forms and then search for the forms and then do the archiving but nowadays it is quite simple with bmc remedy okay i hope you have um, uh, liked my um, um, video and um, i hope it's an informative video for you so please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like my videos i'll be posting more such videos more informative videos uh, uh, from the bmc remedy and um, other technologies uh, mostly i will be covering the things which are not there in the documentation and which is um, basically cannot be understood from the documentation so i will be covering those um, videos in future it's uh, goodbye from me thank you thanks for watching this video thank you